when it comes to deck boxes and cases for your Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and other standard size trading cards, there has in the past been a uniformity of design options. Many different companies have their own respective versions of the same basic premise, which means that players with different wants and different needs often go without. That's why in this video we will examine the deck boxes and cases from Car Car Pull Pull TCG, a company founded by Magic players that designed their products with different needs and a different style. But are these boxes and cases of any quality? Or are they all flash and show without much substance behind the glam. Let's take a look. Let's begin with the incredibly unimaginatively named S01. Spoiler alert, this incredibly diverse line of offerings all are named in the same way. Now, I know I have complained in the past about some of the silly names that companies give their products, but it seems that Car Car Pull Pull has the opposite problem. No names at all. S01. A1, A2, that's the whole line. It's funny that a company whose name comes from a unique and interesting New Zealand bird had so much trouble naming their products. I mean, how about we get other avian names such as the kiwi for these cute little boxes here. All right, all right, all right, let's get back to the review. These small compact deck boxes have a metal frame, metal hinge, and metal latches with a durable plastic board for the exterior panels. They will hold a double-sleeved commander deck, 100 double-sleeved cards, or about 130 sleeved cards. The S01 has a distinct hatch opening with two panels unfolding when the box is opened. Unfortunately, this distinct style is also the deck box's biggest problem. Within just a few days of testing, I noticed one of my deck box's lids was hanging differently than the other, and soon found that these hinges are not the best at withstanding pressure. This is possibly the biggest problem not only of the S01, but of the entire line. While the deck box is indeed extremely secure due to its metal latch, the hinges for the opening can easily become stretched out of shape because they do not fully swing open but rather hold the two halves of the lid stylistically suspended. There are also issues with the lid often brushing against the sides of the cards if they are not perfectly centered in the box. Anyone trying to close this up in a hurry might end up brushing against their cards. This is why you would never store unsleeved cards in this box. But I feel that even sleeved cards are going to suffer if you are not absolutely careful. And that's the key word here, careful. If carefully cared for, if gently treated, then nothing is going to happen to these deck boxes. The problem is, is due to the nature of this lid, is I think it's going to be very, very likely that you're going to brush into the top in such a way as to, well, bend it. Now, if you ask me, and I'm no expert, this is how, ah, Ooh, that was painful to do. This is how the hinges should actually have the lid go, full open. That way there's no way that you can accidentally bend it. In fact, it's not bendable because the hinge opens all the way. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, you're going to run a risk of scratching the sides of your cards with these, even when it is not a broken one. If you're in a real hurry, can oftentimes not close properly. Once it's closed, this thing is really solid. I couldn't break it. I couldn't shake it open if I tried, but unfortunately, the design of the lid is not one that I agree with. And these same criticisms apply, sadly, to the double capacity versions, the L01, which is basically a double wide version of the S01. This is something a lot of Commander players frequently write me asking for. A small, compact, super secure deck box that holds two double-sleeved Commander decks. And that's this, and it's amazing, except of course for the exact same problems as the S01.
What a shame. Everything else is exactly as it should be, including a very secure latch that is going to make it highly, highly unlikely that your cards will come spilling out. Holds 200 double-sleeved cards or 260 single-sleeved. Price is $27 US. For both the S01 and L01, I'm afraid I must give them each a C+. This grade could and should be much higher, but the fragile nature of the lid tanks the grade. I am still going to pass this, as it were, because there's a lot of high-quality points about it, especially the fact that the L01 holds two double-sleeved commander decks. And once closed, these are both very protective and super compact little capsules. Let's see what else Karkar Polpol offers. The D2 offers something that is rarely seen, which is the ability to store not only cards and not only deck boxes, but also top loaders. Another frequent question I get from viewers is their search for a protective box that stores top loaders. And this is something which is hard to come by. Well, the D2 is ideal for this. Available in both black and silver, the D2 features an aluminum frame and a synthetic interior lining. And along with metal hinges, it has a light plastic handle. Here I am putting three Legion iconic deck boxes in. And of course, this is a standard size of box that many companies offer. This can hold 300 sleeved cards and is super secure. This comes with three dividers as well as a small foam sponge liner, which can be used, for example, if you wanted to put cards and perfect fits in here. Although I think the ideal use of this case is for top loaders and or deck boxes. Price is $26.99. I just love how these fit the top loaders. And also, this closure, very, very secure, very, very tight, clean fit. Unlike the S01 brand, this is just the single lid. It still, unfortunately, I think uses that same type of hinge, but because we don't have an opening on each side, you're less likely to bend this back. It can still happen. Quite frankly, the hinges are what is holding back the whole line of this product, but we'll talk more about that later. In addition to that really secure latch, and here we go. Look, this is very unlikely. I guess it doesn't lock, so I guess maybe you could ow, hit it in such a way as to open it, maybe, but this is really secure. Especially for people, again, looking for those ways to store top loaders, which is very, very uncommon. This is great. I love the foam at the top. However, the plastic handle is not to my liking. I assume that this is plastic and not a more secure metal to keep costs down, probably to keep the weight down, but it feels very, very flimsy. And though in my testing, I was unable to get it to bend or break, I would not at all be surprised that if the first thing to go on these boxes is this little handle here. Uh, it's okay. Again, I think that's the overall assessment of a lot of the materials for these. Good, satisfactory, but not anything more. And it's really unfortunate that maybe we don't spend an extra couple of dollars to have a slightly better quality latch and hinge and handle. That's certainly what I would invest in. This comes in a double-sized version as well, and it is one of my absolute favorites, the B2. The B2 is a long, slender case that, like the D2, holds top loaders, deck boxes, and sleeved cards. This can store twice as much, so six of those Legion deck boxes, which for me personally is a dream come true because this is the new home of my modern deck library. I'm a big fan. The price of the B2 is $42, so that's just a little less than buying two of the D2s. For the B2 and the D2, I am a super, super fan. But I will still acknowledge the problem of the hinges and the potential flimsiness of the handle. Still, these are very, 
very great items, and a B plus, heck, B plus 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 is the grade that they deserve. Quite frankly, if you're looking for a case exclusively for storing top loaders, this may be an A territory for you. Car Car Pull Pull offers a large variety of briefcase-like cases for those with larger storage needs. Now, out of all of the briefcases, the A1 is my least favorite. It has the same synthetic faux leather interior with a secured middle divider. That secured middle divider is what turns me off to this case. The top row can hold the deck boxes and top loaders, but the bottom row is ever so slightly smaller, making it just for sleeved cards. I wish both halves had been of equal size, or maybe perhaps the middle divider was adjustable or something. And despite the larger size of the A1, the same type of latches seem to be used, the same type of hinges are being used, and the same thin, cheap plastic handles being used. Again, none of this broke except, of course, for the bending of those hinges when pressure is applied in my testing, but I sure wish that we had maybe gone with a slightly higher grade of material, especially when we hit the larger boxes. The A1 can hold in the vicinity of 1,500 single-sleeved cards, and the price is very reasonable at $45, considering how large this case is. I'll give it a solid B. But let's look at the much better two. Now the A2, oh god, these names, is doing something really clever. The dividers, the interior walls for this case, are fully adjustable. They slide in and out of thin grooves along not only the case's sides, but get this, each other. I love this, this is brilliant. This means the interior is fully customizable to you and your specific needs. Want this to hold Ultra Pro satin towers or an ultimate guard flipping tray or your custom wooden deck box? Just adjust accordingly. Comes with four of these movable interior walls and more can always be purchased. I also like that the dividers have a soft foam lining. Just great, almost excellent all around. I say almost because here again is my feeling that the quality of materials is good but not excellent. They pop in and out of their slots a little too easily. I wish these clicked into place, or at least held themselves inside the slot more securely. Again, this isn't a major problem or even a big disappointment, but it is noteworthy and it is what is keeping this out of A territory. It includes four movable walls, 15 index dividers, and three of the foam sponge strips for added protection and storage options. The same sad metal hinges and thin plastic handle and everything else. Price is very reasonable at $59.99, and I am giving this the highest B plus there is. So B plus 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 plus? It wouldn't take much to make this a solid A. Finally, let's look at the U1. Does U stand for ultimate here? Not likely, but that's what I think of with this case. Here we have a super thick and solid handle, larger and more sturdy latches that actually lock. This will hold well over 1,500 sleeved cards and comes with three movable walls for the interior. Same as before, these interlock not only with the case, but with each other. Aluminum sheet exterior, synthetic leather interior, and a bit of wood behind the panels with metal hinges and larger, more secure latches. That's right, this uses a larger, more secure latch, one that locks. And while it's no cube vault, you can see that we are finally utilizing some slightly higher end materials. For example, the latches have a little tab that clicks into the base in addition to them being lockable. The handle, while I think still plastic, in fact I know, still plastic is larger, thicker, and more secure. The entire case here has a great deal more heft 
and weight to it than the others, which quite frankly were almost as light as the smaller versions because it's pretty much employing the same material builds. And this is the first one that I would feel confident chucking in an overhead bin. In fact, this one is going in my personal collection. Price is, wow, $69.99 is a great deal for this. All right, I'm gonna say we've hit excellent territory if only just A minus, minus. I think there's a lot here for a lot of people, and even if not all of these cases are absolutely perfect, they're gonna find some great homes with a lot of players. Very exciting new company, very exciting designs. I look forward to what they come up with in the future. Hopefully, at the very least, some names.